just intercepted a transmission for medical. Someone's down there? See what you make of this. This is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan. She's alive? Medical is a sanctuary. All survivors, please join us. Nicole. I'm going back to medical. Makes sense. I'll head to the crew deck and look for survivors from the bridge. I'll be in touch. The crew deck? Wonder if you know something we don't. Uh... The way Nicole was acting there was very strange, but that is definitely new. We get a message from Nicole which Kendra found she hacked something or received something from medical. And Nicole is straight out telling us that it's a sanctuary. She's alive. Daniel has picked up a transmission from Nicole, telling survivors to join her in medical. I have to find her. Rosal's rig is probably somewhere in engineering. Do I go back now and look for it? I think I might. Uh, we don't have any other rigs by the looks of it. In medical. Which is where we're heading next. So what I might do is I might take some time to look around engineering and see if... Firstly, if any necromorphs respawn. And secondly, if I can find this rig. Oh shit. If you see that thing, you shoot it or you run. Because yeah, that thing is a one shot. Okay, so how do we get back to medical from here? The tram? I missed that. Alright, so Hammond's out of here and he's heading towards the crew deck for reasons unknown. Where is Daniels though? She's hiding in the computer core, whatever that, wherever that is. Whatever that is and wherever that is. They were both presumably in this room, and then they got separated. He went through there. Oh, how much? Yes, we can afford it. 22 slots, that's 4 additional slots, and 5% additional armor. We need the space, we don't have a choice. Looking chonky there, Isaac. Chonky and spiny. Alright, let's sell that. Move a couple of these. CEC stores. Powering humanity, empowering you. God fucking damn it, game. Yeah, I could probably get away with selling a couple of these O2 tanks and also some of this stasis stuff. Right now, I have no healing. I've just got stasis, a bunch of plasma ammo, a little bit of contact ammo, and flamethrower fuel. And four ripper blades, which are of absolutely no use to me whatsoever.
Yeah, I thought it sounded like it was ahead of me. It's surprising that it actually spawned in here, though. You right there, buddy? Just star already, please. I'm surprised it actually... Oh, God. Can you just let me get my thoughts out, please? I'm surprised they're spawning inside that room. Unless the game thinks okay, we wouldn't make a run back to the store and you wouldn't check out this room beforehand. Because yeah, if you don't run back to the store after getting your security upgrade clearance, this will be the first time you're checking out this room. So I guess it would make sense for enemies to spawn now. Yep, that's going to take me straight back to the tram and that's going to take me back to medical. That door is still very, very locked. Well, that's freaky and unsettling as hell. Let me just make a save before we head to medical. And engineering. It's been a few days, so I've forgotten the way to the tram. Now, I actually have some news, because before I started today's stream, I wanted to check to see if I could go back to engineering and grab the rig that we missed for the master override. This guy here. But after checking the map carefully, and also using this lovely option here, it's actually telling me exactly where it is, and it is hidden behind a level 3 security clearance door in engineering. Now we don't have level 3 security clearance, we only have level 2, so there is literally no point in going back to engineering and grabbing that. I was going to start today just by wandering around engineering and looking around until I found this rig, but that's not going to happen because it's behind a door that we can't access. So we're just going to go straight back to medical, which according to our girlfriend is a sanctuary. Return to the medical deck. Locate the source of the broadcast. Something is seriously wrong in medical, but I'm sure Nicole's broadcast came from here. I need to find the source of her message and make sure she's okay. Yeah, I don't know if she's okay, Isaac. I mean, she is your girlfriend and all, but... Given the situation, given what we saw in the morgue, I don't know if this is the wise thing to do. The haptics on that feel fantastic. Just in case I haven't gushed enough about that already. Right. Daniels, the door to medical just locked behind me. Hello? Kendra is offline. Shall I send you to her? 
How about you unlock these doors, and I'll find her myself? Are you that selfish? You might let something in. Or out. Shit. So, you've decided to be difficult. Take a seat. Uh, can doctors really be trusted? I mean, in most cases, I'd say yes, but um, I'm not sure that I'm in a particularly trusting mood given the environment that we are currently in. That door's locked. We can still get to the zero G labs. Or at least I think that leads to the zero G labs. Uh, the only med packs I've got in storage are large ones. I might take one of those. And I'll drop one of these stasis packs. So we have some plasma ammo, some contact, and plenty of flamethrower ammo. He tells us to take a seat, but I'm the restless type. Nice. Yeah, I think we need to head this way. Back to the medical imaging lab, and then beyond that is... Oh, God. So that was using the R1 alt fire, which fires three at once. I definitely don't think that's the most cost effective way of taking those dudes out, but it worked. Plus, I do need to burn some ammo. We came back through here earlier, and now that's locked off. That's not a good sign. Ooh, stasis, we need that. Uh, just remembering stasis is triangle. It's been about five days since I last played. This is fucked. Oh, can I shoot that? Need some more ammo and quickly. I don't know what this unlocked. Oh, these things, those things. To run out of plasma ammo. It's down. It's not down. Come on. Oh, 
Dude. Alright, I just wasted a lot of ammo on that thing. Ah, the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker and the battery. Go up there. The doors or the elevators? Let's go for the doors. We have clearance. Maybe we can open a few things here. We have two large med packs, but I don't want to use them just yet. One node. Suit level three upgrade graph extended. We have stasis duration and Kinesis grab range. Yeah, no, thank you. We do have another slot there for our HP, but I need a second node to get there. I sat on the left. We can't fight anymore. Hey, it's okay to be fucked up. Yeah, I do wonder maybe with that guy if I should have just gone for the contact beam or charged him and tried to rip him down. Because as much as surgically cutting off those tentacles makes me feel good, it used a lot of ammo. The marker and the doctor implied that he is a unitologist. Lovely. Ah, that's where we need to get into the, the chemical lab. Yeah, I don't think there was anywhere near as much growth last time I was here. Okay, I see the problem. I hear you there, buddy. That was actually the wrong weapon. I meant to whip out the contact beam, but I whipped out the ripper and it one shot of them, which is kind of impressive. That makes me wonder if I've been uh, doing it wrong, perhaps. But for now, what I'm thinking is flamethrower for the dot and then. Whatever else we can get our hands on. Anyone? What about stasis? Uh, is this new or did I miss this earlier? I guess we'll know when, when it appears in the uh, data log list which chapter it belongs to. Thirteen hundred credits, the zero G lab. No, thank you. Zero G therapy. All right, who have we got? Unless 
You don't trust me. No, uh, of course I trust you. Let's uh, give it a shot. Volunteer 9 is a young male, <laughs> testing my new tissue regeneration formula. I expect death within the hour, but the changes to the vascular system are very promising. One moment for the cleanup. <clears throat> for the last time, get a trauma team in here. Yes, I called three times. My patient is crashing. Get off your smoke break and help me. Okay, this guy is now just a complete fuckwit. Chalice Mercer. Mercer's volunteer, yep. Oh boy. This guy is clearly up to no good. So, testing the regenerative formula. Was that after the outbreak or before? I'd have to imagine it'll be after, surely. Or maybe it's someone who was infected and Mercer got a hold of them and wanted to experiment with them to extract something. Uh, I don't know. Back in zero G therapy. All right, that way is going to lead us to the exterior, which is exposed. This way leads to the chemical and cryogenic labs. Chemical Research Lab. Danger! The Ishimura Chemical Research Lab contains volatile chemicals and toxic biological agents. Maintain safety procedures at all times. I have a flamethrower. So we could use that to get a free heal. Waifu? Oh, okay, so we've just done a loop. That's where we initially came from, so I could reactivate the doors now, perhaps. Switch off the elevator and we can just go through here. Did not see those, eh? Uh, that is a recording, isn't it? Chemical lab. Eye protection required. she record this herself or is Mercer up to no good perhaps before I shut off the broadcast let me loot this place 2,000 credits all right Nicole waifu you're not actually here shipwise transmission override Yeah, I saw you there. Behind you. Isaac Clark. All right. Dr. Brennan's nearest and dearest. We were colleagues, you know. Dr. Chalice Mercer. You've been doing fucked up shit to your patients, dude. I heard. Are you the reason? Won't begin. That's it. Uh, 
convergence is installed. <laughs> She's meddling. How is the question? But even if I was to ask, I suspect you're not the talkative type. I'm way more talkative in the remake. And I haven't fully explored the cause of death as that missing factor. Dismemberment. Now I think we're on the right track there. <laughs> Try and relax, Mr. Clark. Convergence is so close. Maybe your death will tip the balance. What is wrong with you, dude? Shit. Locate the source of the broadcast. Done. Both doors are locked. Is there anything I can do here? I think I might just kite you for a bit and see if one of these doors unlocks. Daniels! Hammond! Help me the fuck out! Picked it like a dirty nose. It's open. Go. Right, which door? Escape the creature. I'm not going to read the log for that, if that's all right with everyone. Right, heading this way. Where are we going? All right, we're heading back to reception. Oh shit! Did not see those. That's going to be a death. Somehow, that's not a death. Okay, you. Not that. Oh, wow. It called broadcast. It was a trick by a fucking unitologist. Dr. Mercer. He's locked down medical to experiment on the crew. Oh, God. Every way out is locked down to one of the offices. It must be Mercer's. I can brute force the internal doors, but you will have to reach his office and lift the lockdown manually. I would have loved to have read, read the description of that, but, um... No, we can't do it while we're trying to escape that creature. And now I've got a new objective of lifting the lockdown. A unitologist, Dr. Mercer, has medical lockdown for his sick experiments. I need to lift the lockdown from his office if I want to get out alive. Fuck is that noise? Uh, the oh wow earlier was because I used a large med pack and that gave me four units of health. The large med pack appears to no longer be a full heal. It used to be, but it's not anymore. Which is kind of crazy, actually. All right, let's sell that. CEC stores, your credits go further. Yeah, fuck you all, man. Give me this stuff for free. World is going to hell in a handbasket. I need this stuff for free. Alright. There's really only one way we can go. Back. attack? All I did was cast stasis on him. Shit. That worked. Wow, okay. Stunned him for just a fraction of a second. Right, come here you. Oh 
God, they're everywhere. Up oh, there he is. Alright, I see a little one around here somewhere. There you are. Do we have a stasis recharge in here? I don't think we do. Fuck. Alright, we have a power cell there. We could use that to unlock the door on the left behind us now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stasis him and then plug the power cell into the door. I would love to know if these dudes dropped anything here, but I don't have time to stop the corpses. In fact, I can't even see the corpses. Alright. You. Hold still. Okay, go, go, go. Oh god, he's following me. Okay, he didn't come through the door, that's great. He'll probably just come through a vent instead. Ooh. Right, what have I got? Fifteen contact beam, hardly any plasma, and lots of flamethrower. Can the music just calm down a bit, please? Audio log. When I began my research, Terence Kind's insights into the marker were invaluable. Now he's been reduced to sending little missives like this one. You butcher! I saw your hunter! I know who it used to be! Oh! The cellular regeneration? Good God, don't you see what you've done? I agree with Amelia. If this is unitology, I want no part of it. My diagnosis? Poor Terence is suffering from the same dementia reported on the Aegis 7 colony. Emilia, for example. The only Emilia has ever mentioned was his wife. And Emilia Kine died seven years ago. God damn it, I need to listen to that again. Oh, I wish this music would shut the hell up. Uh, the line gun's in here. Line racks, plasma ammo. 1500 credits, more line racks, power node, the line gun, the goddamn line gun. Can the music just calm down please? Alright. That's replacing the ripper. Laser trap deploys a lethal trap that slices anything that crosses the lasers. Don't know how much ammo that uses, but that's the alternate fire. God, we needed that. I hear you, but I don't see you. There you are. Yeah, is that working the way I want it to work? I think so. A bit weird, but I'll take that. Uh... Oh god, this music. Why? Another audio log. Surgical log, Dr. Charles Mercer. Tissue regeneration experiment button. The children of the marker, Kynes, Necromorphs, have provided all the material I could have. And the Insectivarius has provided it. Of course, that requires a 
requires puncturing the frontal bone, just stop the clavenna. Please, please, no. Don't worry. It's been sterilized. <laughs> Once the music calms down, I'm going to have to go back and listen to these logs. I can't. I just can't right now. Alright. Are we all nice and calm? No, we're not. Jesus, fuck. Another audio log? No, text log. I'm not reading that now. Just need to get some semblance of safety and then we'll have a read. Although outside Dr. Mercer's office seems like a good idea because we're going to see some pretty awful stuff in there, I think. Nope, the game's still going. The music's still going. Dr. C. Mercer, 2SO. Consult consultations are closed. Okay, he's got a med pack in his office. That seems perfectly normal. Well, that does not. Another text log and... Ruby Semiconductor. Very nice. Lots of med packs, I expect that in the doctor's office. But it looks like he was dissecting or doing something to an infector. Alright, how many of these things have we got? We have... Aris's Choice and... Mercer's Journal. Sterile Instruments and Dr. Kine's Dementia, which I want to hear again because of Amelia. Spoken Notes. Uh, apart from that, this office seems pretty normal. There's nothing out of place. There's not like a whole bunch of jars with skulls around the place like there was in the original. Warning. Local door protocols corrupted. Rebooting systems. Shit. No, you can't. nitrous oxide, dude. Whoa. Shit, he was right. Air quality is dropping shipwide. Something's poisoning the oxygen and hydroponics. If we lose our air supply... He said we could fix it. He came looking for liquid nitrogen. And there has to be some in the cryogenics lab. Okay. Not like we have a better option. I'll clear you a path to cryo. That's where we just were. Door protocols rebooted. Thank you for your patience. One of Mercer's victims said the air in hydroponics is being poisoned. There's a way to fix it, but he needed liquid nitrogen. I should check cryogenics. We were just there, that's where we encountered the hunter. Security checkpoint. Damn, that actually worked. Okay, um, I've been sleeping on a flamethrower. Right, we need to get oxygen there. Is the hunter still here? Yes, most definitely yes. Right. Hold still, buddy. Nope, not today. Didn't see you. Don't want to see you. If I don't see you, you don't exist. 
Uh, this thing. Restore life support. Stop the poison gas. I didn't read that because I didn't have time. I wish I could actually read some of those. But if I'm panicked, then I'm not going to read them. Um, is it going to tell us to go this way now? No, this door is unlocked. Why is this door unlocked? The cryogenics lab, I thought, was directly next to the chemical lab, which is where we just were. God, this game is stressing me out. Ionized capacitor. Don't know what that's going to do, but again, that is the same as purchasing power node. There's so many other things we can purchase here. What have I got in my inventory? Let's... Two large med packs. I'll use that. We'll store that. And we can sell this. 10,000. That's nice. That's a power node. Have a productive day. I think today's going pretty well so far. I've only had to fucking get away from this guy twice. Um, I think I will store the Ripper. And we'll just rock the Plasma, Flame, Contact and Line for a bit. Where is the safe station? It is there. So my immediate question is, why is this door unlocked? Is there any purpose to going behind this door at this time? Not that. Ah, uh, bear with me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, we are there. So if we go downstairs, go downstairs again. That takes us back into the large room where Nicole Brennan's office is. And then there's another lower area, which is where we found all the creepy baby dudes. The only thing I see interesting there, outside of any level 2 cabinets which you might be missing, is there is a bioprosthetics locker room. But that is level 3 security clearance, which we don't have. I don't think there's any point going there at this time. Alright, now that things have calmed down just a fucking fraction, let's take a look at this stuff that we've picked up. Jesus, that was crazy. That was non-stop. Alright. Harris's choice. I think that's how you pronounce it. Patient log, Dr. Chalice Mercer. Second science officer, conversation with B. Harris. Patient Harris, that's why you're writing this down? Dr. Mercer. The church will thank me later. Dr. Mercer. I hear it too, Mr. Harris. Others find the marker's signal a burden. But for me, it's inspiring. New surgical technologies, new technical designs. A pity I can't grasp the deeper nuances like you do. Patient Harris, you mean the codes or the voices that are hungry to be heard? Hungry, like stars are hungry. And to think those fools tried to cure you. You have divine insight, Mr. Harris. I can interpret it. The deepest secrets of the marker, convergence, even the hive mind itself, could be ours, if you trust me. Man, this is some heavy spoiler stuff here. If you played the original, you know what this stuff is. God speaks through the marker. It needs to be heard, but I can't give it to you. I try, but it slips away, like it's stuck behind my eyes. Oh, God. I'm having terrible memories of Dead Space 2. And the best means to retrieve it would have unfortunate consequences. Unless... Tell me, Mr. Harris, do you know the term... 
cellular regeneration. I don't know where I'm going with this voice. Silver Frog 28, thank you for the follow just now. I don't know why you followed me when I'm doing that absurd voice, but thank you for the follow. Mercer's Journal. Dr. Chalice Mercer, observations. Convergence, where the bodies of the dead will rise. United, undying, made whole by the marker. So we're taught. Oh, that's a unitology thing. Okay. But all this raw material, all my work, and the marker remains inert. Ever since that first contact, as it were, words repeat in my head. The makers must be absorbed. A divine insight, perhaps, that creating my hunter is part of the answer. And yet I, the lizard, no, I will not doubt. No unitologist has ever been so close. To cheat death, that withered old tyrant, I must have a matching tenacity. Curious. All right. Uh, where is Dr. Kai's dementia? I want to hear what he said about Amelia. Surgical log, Dr. Charles Mercer. It's a shame. When I began my research, Terence's kind insights into the marker were invaluable. Now he's been reduced to sending little missives like this one. You butcher. I saw your hunter. I know who it used to be. That cellular regeneration? Good God, don't you see what you've done? I agree with Amelia. If this is unitology, I want no part of it. He agrees with Amelia. Poor Terence is suffering from the same dementia reported on the Aegis 7 colony. Amelia, for example. The only Amelia has ever mentioned was his wife. And Amelia Kine died seven years ago. Seven years ago, Amelia died, and now he's saying he agrees with her. I mean, maybe Amelia had different thoughts on Unitology back then. Who knows? Alright. Apparently, all the instruments are sterile. Surgical log, Dr. Charles Mercer, tissue regeneration experiment 5. Please, please not the children of the marker, kind necromorphs, have provided all the material I could ask for. And the infector variant has provided a key insight. Implanting the material directly into the brain renders optimal results. Of course, that requires puncturing the frontal bone. Just oh, God. Please, please, no. Don't worry. It's been sterilized. Jesus, he's ramming needles or whatever directly into the fronts of people's skulls. The same as what the infector does. Jesus, dude. So he was clearly conducting these experiments after the outbreak. I thought he might have been doing it before, but no, he's definitely doing it afterwards. Presumably trying to isolate the Necromorph's regenerative capability and using it for his own nefarious purposes, perhaps. Or maybe he's just trying to speed things along for this convergence event. Where are we going? This way? No. This door is now unlocked as well. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. So what is that? One plasma shot and nine flamethrower shots. That's not bad. The DOS is doing work. No more little dudes around here to ambush me. That door has been opened. It's a cryogenics. What can I expect in there? Okay, on the 
right, we have a door which we definitely can't access. Hello. 2,000 credits. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Cryogenics. Tell me this is a boss battle without telling me you're a boss battle. Also, the stay station sort of gives it away. Stasis. Ooh, we can't open those. Alright, but we've been loaded up. This is good. Let me save the game because I'm pretty sure I remember what's behind here. I mean, I don't know if the loud of this room has changed. Stasis recharged, nice. Um, but this all looks very, very familiar. Can I grab that? Not from here. I guess that is the, yes, that's a canister of liquid nitrogen, which we need to take to hydroponics. Control room, cryogenics, authorized personnel only. I think that's exactly the same. It is. Yeah, I pretty much remember what we have to do here. What I don't recall is whether or not we need to... The fuck were they doing here? Did they freeze them to experiment on them or something? Because there's no reason for this. There really isn't. Fucking hell. Alright, wish me luck. First go. Oh, I've seen Dead Space 3, buddy. Shit, more of them. There's more than one. One hunter, but lots of little shits. Go down. Go oh, there, everywhere. All right, line gun time. Where's the stasis? Dude. Well, we can hit me with stasis when he's stasis. That's uh, not good. Okay. Yeah, I think what I might need to do is... Well, I know what I have to do. I need to stasis him in here and maybe knock him down in here to give me a bit of time. Then head into the control room and activate the chamber.
Initiate cryo process. Large med pack. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, so that's what I need to do here. Stasis him and then make a run for it. Problem is, I don't know whether I can do this or whether I'm actually going to have to spend ammo on him. He's not going to be done until he is in the ground. And even then, he might still get back up. Isaac, the hydroponic tram station is sealed off. You'll need another way there. Take the tram back towards the hangar, then head to the repair station. Remember where you took that broken tram car off the tracks? Mm -hmm. There's an access door in there that'll take you to hydroponics. I actually saw that door on someone else's video. I didn't realize at the time when I was playing it, but I've seen that door now. I know exactly where that door is. Uh, I'm not sure why we just got two trophies popping there, but I don't really want to check right now. I assume maybe that storyteller is related to logs. Oh, the tissue sample. We need to take that into medical. Remedicated malpractice. Mercer's pet hunter. Careful. Who knows what mad science went into that thing? Maybe I could find out. Figure out what Mercer's up to. If I'm fast, there has to be a DNA scanner close by. Oh, I've seen it. Uh, we can get back to the bridge from here. Oh, I've got to check that out. Um, wow. I really love the way they've sort of made the Ishimura a little bit more interlinked. That is something I'm really enjoying about the remake. Amongst everything else, you know, like getting the bejesus frightened out of me and the frustration and the pressure and the stress and all the rest of it. But apart from that, it's great. It's a bridge tram station. I don't like this music. I'm glad we can get through that battle by spending a minimal amount of ammunition, though. Can I get inside there? Credits and plasma. Is there really no way inside this little area here? Alright, it's just a funky looking area there. That feels like an ambush waiting to happen. I don't like these noises. I really don't. Alright, so now that we're here, I'm going to shrug my shoulders and head back to medical because we need to check out this tissue sample. The tram station to hydroponics is sealed off. If I take the tram to the hangar and head to tram maintenance instead, there's a way to hydroponics from there. And yeah, scientific methods, we still haven't done that one. Mercer's created some regenerating monster he calls his Hunter. I've got to know more about what I'm up against. 
Yeah, back in the day, there was a theory about who the hunter was because of where you first encountered it. I'm not going to say that out loud. But based on some of the logs, I don't know if that's the case now or whether it's just maybe one of the other patients, like B. Harris, perhaps. Who knows? Location. Medical. I found a sample of tissue from Mercer's hunter. If I run it through a DNA scanner, maybe I can figure out what I'm dealing with. This could end very badly, Isaac. Just saying. Alright, I'm not sure what happens to the camera just there, but fine. I'm feeling positive about the flamethrower. The next time I see a bench, I'm going to have a look at it. Are we going to get another quarantine? I sincerely hope not. Alright, the DNA scanner was on the right, but let me just recharge that. That thing was still floating in midair. Wow. Okay, where was it? Yep. You think? Rig tracking is available to trace possible contagion. Authorize. Harris, what did Mercer do to you? Authorize. Sinking logs and points of interest to rig locator. Thank you for your commitment to public health. Find his ICU bed. Is that going to take us into the morgue? According to DNA records, this hunter used to be a miner called Brant Harris. Sounds like Mercer treated Harris in medical's ICU. There could be more evidence there. Uh, that is... That's the security station. That's the door leading down. So, okay, so this is the main room, the emergency room. Going out through here. This is um, Dr. Charles Mercer's office. It's directly outside his office. Question is, do I go for it now? I think I should go for it now. I don't see any major disadvantage to not going for it now, I guess. I don't know if I said that right, and I don't particularly care. Don't quarantine me, please. I'm very happy with that combination. Alright. I sprinted through here earlier. Yeah. 
This thing is doing work and I like it. I think in the original game the flamethrower wasn't terribly good, or I slept on that as well, but no, this thing is actually wrecking things. Alright, so I took some dudes... You okay there? Uh, I took some dudes out here earlier, and I don't see any drops. And I don't think I'm going to get any. Which kind of sucks, but you know, I was panicking, it was an emergency. We're just going to have to make do with what we've got. So, we can use a shortcut to get back there, this way. I've made a huge mistake. This is not where I want to be. Wait. That doesn't belong to this chapter. Okay, is that going to show up under chapter 2? It is. Wow, I missed this. Okay. Medical log. Dr. G. Domus, medical examiner. Report of death on ship... Subject, Captain Benjamin Matthias. It is my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left for investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the condition of the body. Subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his, I don't know how to pronounce that word, count was very low with, I don't know how to pronounce that word either, in particular, almost non-existence. I think that it has something to do with white blood cells. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset, but it does not appear to have had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. Light contusions around the ribcage indicates he was restrained, likely for a brief period. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body which continued on through the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. He got stabbed in the eye. The angle of penetration into the ocular cavity indicates the injury was not self-inflicted. How on earth can you tell that? I mean, that would be a absolutely gnarly suicide method, but... Yeah, I, I don't buy that. I reckon you could totally do that and it wouldn't be discernible. Examination required the removal of the object to confirm cause of death, but it has been preserved for the investigative team to study. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unnatural death. Whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. It's beyond ours as well, but we do know that Kine stabbed him. Accidental or deliberate? Who knows? God, that... I'm still reeling from that animation. That animation was great. Alright. Let's get out of here. This is where we're going. I see you. He's a willing participant here. It won't be like ages seven and that unpleasantness with the nurse. Was it a nurse when I came? Okay, good. This errand you want me to 
do with ore storage. The miners won't like it. They're probably as narrow-minded as the miners in the colony. What is wrong with you, dude? So is that thing a stasis gun or? That's not a stasis gun. I'm uncomfortable. Oh God. I can see. The Marcus Holtz, it's, it's been trying to show me. They'll make us whole. Doctor, I see it now. The marker speaks. We can answer. Tell me how. Tracking related rig activity. Or storage. This is good stuff. This was not in the original. This is actually legitimately good stuff. I'm going to hold on the reload because I would like to see if I can upgrade the capacity. Yeah, I can officially say I like the flamethrower. Which is shocking because after playing Dead Space the original, that is not something I thought I would be saying ever. Uh, legend. I don't see the legend. The bench is that little... I don't know how to describe that icon, so you know what? I'm not even going to try. There isn't one around here, but there is one, I believe, just down here, correct? And then if we pop up here. God damn it, that elevator. I can't see where that elevator goes out. It's going to take me past the bench. I know that for a fact. How many nodes do I have? Two? No, four. Alright, let's let's spend something on this flamethrower because I can see I'm gonna be using it moving forward. Nine shots. I've invested in the cutter, but I think it's time to invest in the flamethrower a bit. Yeah, it's at the top of this elevator. Alright, flamethrower, what have you got? Damage and capacity. Absolutely perfect. The other thing I suppose I could do is get myself a free health upgrade here, using those other two nodes. What else can I get? Plasma Cutter? I still haven't upgraded that, which is curious. 
Uh, what do I want? There's so many choices. I think I'll get the HP upgrade for the suit. And then when I'm back at the store, I may look at the flamethrower upgrade. Alright, we're here. Uh, where? Where? Christ. Okay. Uh, wait. Have we been in here? We have, but we haven't. I mean, I recognize this corridor, but um, we haven't been through that door. That door was locked earlier. So we just need to go straight, and that's going to take us to the repair room. And if we go left up into that room, that leads to a horror show. So how about we don't go that way just yet? Something is poisoning the air in hydroponics. If I don't fix it, soon no one on board is going to be breathing. Ominous, Isaac. Very ominous. Damn, the capacity upgrade only took it from 50 to 55. That's... That's low. Dude. Alright, I did take a hit there, and I'm not happy about that. I should be using stasis, shouldn't I? I heard that. The problem is, it's in the walls and not actually in the playable space. See, the hydroponics tram. 